Hello YouTube world, it's me again, I'm the second son. Uh, today I'm also going to talk about math and this is, uh, I mean these are the questions from 2017 uh, JMO first round and these are quite easy ones, it's question 2 and question 5 so I think it's one of, the, one of those which the committee uh, meant for everyone to solve it so it's fairly easy. It's a bit of, uh, the first one is a bit of like a brain exercising and the second one is, you know, you just have to be a bit meticulous not to miss any sets that you're counting. So it's good for your uh, exercise, so please try it and let's dive into it. Okay, so the first one. Okay, so the first one, the question reads, how many pairs of positive whole numbers, uh, say A and B, uh, such so that A times B equals 29 factor, uh, factorial of 29, and A is less than B, and A and B are called primes. So we have to meet those uh, three criteria. So when I see these kind of big numbers, like factorial of 29, I would uh, prime factorize it. So uh, it's just simple, like 29. Uh, factorial of 29, if you prime it 29 itself as a prime, and 23. One, and 32 can't fit 29, so whatever this number, but you know, this number doesn't really matter though. The fact uh, these numbers, I mean these numbers, the power to the whatever doesn't really count because what we need is what which prime numbers do they include in this factorial of 29. So let me tell you why. It's fairly simple. If you want to have meet the criteria of A and B are called prime, you want to make, uh, you just pick one out, pick one type or like pick one prime number and then designate that to A or B. Then if you just do every prime number that, then it would end up in one number A, number B, which will be co-prime. And then if you times it together, it will be factorial of 29. That's that, that's that simple. So the reason I say so is that, you know, you can't really designate 113 to A and 113 to B because that would have a cofactor of 13, which would go against this co-prime. A criteria so it's just so the counting is fairly simple it's either a or b a or b choice of a or b a or b so it's two choices two choices two choices two choices and you just times it together and then how many prime numbers are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten prime numbers so two to the power of ten oh sorry i had a line uh, two to the power of ten uh, would be set of A and B, but we can't forget this criteria. So A must be less than B. So, so right now, uh, we just counted how many A's and B's can we make that are co-prime, and then if you times it together, it will be factorial of 29. But we're overcounting those. So for example, let me say, overcounting the ones that uh, a is uh, more than B. So if I say I designate A uh, to uh, 29 to A and then the rest to B, 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 and then up until B, then A will A equals 29 and then B will be some big number. And then if you times it together, it will meet this and this criteria. But And also 29 is of course less than this enormous number, so it will still meet the criteria. But when you, when you swap that together, so if you designate 29 to B and then the rest to A and up until here then so B equals 29 so the two numbers are the same are the same but uh, the A will be larger than uh, B so it's going against this so uh, for every pair of numbers that meet uh, this this criteria there will be one that's opposite so 
So what, what I'm just doing here is that there are, so, you know, it's just 29 something something, the very big number, this meet the criteria, but this, this something something and then 29 pair that also exist amongst the 2 to the power of 10 that we counted. So we want to delete these because it's going against this criteria, so we just half it. So that's, that's that simple. We just half 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2, or 2 to the power of 9, and that will be 512. So this will be the answer. So this is question 2, you will, you will just simply finish this within a minute or so, okay? Now somebody's calling me. Yeah, but move to the second question. Okay, so let's move on to the second question. Sorry about the phone, but... So, second question, how many sets of positive whole numbers are say A, B, C, D, E, such that A plus B equals C plus D plus E equals 29? And all of them, so all of these A, B, C, D, E must be a different numbers. So, I don't know why, but 2017 had a bit of uh, obsession with 29, so... Uh, but you'll get to know why later on. So, let's dive into this question. So first you ha you want to think about CDE equals 29 sets because you know A plus B equals 29 and then you know two different numbers is pretty fairly simple to think but you just want to you know start from the hard ones so that you, you can like um, rest later on. So CDE. So let's solve from CDE equals 29. So three different numbers added equals 29. So what you really do when you come up with these kind of questions, you draw 29 circles, one, 29. So 29 circles. So uh, what you think of is that two lines, and you choose gaps. So there are 28 gaps between these 29 circles, and then you put one line into, amongst one of the 28 gap, and then the other to uh, from some, somewhere else. So if I say I put one line here, and if I say one, I'll put here, one, two, three, four, five, six, so C equals six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so D equals fourteen, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so E equals nine. In these kind of ways, you can actually, you know, simply choose uh, two uh, gaps amongst. 28 and then that would end up in CDEs but regardless I mean I'm not thinking of this all of them are different but just you know if you want to find three whole numbers that would add up to 29 then just choose two gaps out of 28 so 28 combination 2 which would end up in uh, 28 times 27 divided by 2 times 1, and I'll draw it, yeah. and you just cross it out, and it would end up in 14 times 27. If you see a multiplication of these big numbers, uh, you want, you may want to keep it in this form, so maybe you'll benefit it from later on. So, but as I said, we're not considering a lot of a different numbers, so we have to subtract the cases where, for example, you know, it's just choosing two gaps so we can have like one two three four five six seven eight nine here because like c equals nine and d equals uh, 18 minus uh, 11 so these kind of things may happen amongst these 14 times 27 so we have to subtract it so this subtraction is kind of a bothersome process of this question but you have to bear for it uh, but, you know you just have to do it for the sake of solving So you just really have to simply write down uh, cases where two uh, two whole numbers uh, are the same uh, and you know another number and then it would up to twenty nine. So such as one one uh, twenty seven. Yeah, and then I'll I'll just keep on. So fast forward.
Okay, so there are 14 sets uh, of integers that would uh, add up to 29 and at the same time two of them are uh, exactly the same numbers. So, you know, it, I mean, uh, at the venue I had to write it down, of course, but sorry, it's a bit messy handwriting. But now the, you know that 14 of them do exist. And also, we have to think about it. This can, we haven't uh, deci decided or we haven't designated which alphabet will be 27 or t which alphabet will be 29, 25. So I mean that, but uh, I mean by that, you know, C can be 27 and then D and E can be 1, or uh, I don't know, uh, E can be, E can be 27 and C and D can be 1. So for every set of these, uh, numbers, there are three possible ways to uh, uh, designate to one uh, one of the alphabets. So you simply times uh, 14 times 3 will be the amount that you want to subtract because you know it doesn't meet the criteria of uh, all of the uh, numbers must be different. So uh, 27 times 14 was the, uh, I think, uh, was the amount that we counted by you know, cutting them into uh, different rooms or like you know uh, per, choosing two gaps amongst 28 and then we want to subtract 14 times 3 so it would end up in 24 times 14 so that's why I kept it this way so this is the set of uh, CDE that would meet these criteria so it's now time to just uh, check for A and B. So, so now it's time for A and B. Okay. Let me just write it here. C D E uh, twenty four times fourteen sets. So now it's time for uh, A plus B equals 29. So once again, 29 circles. And this time it's just only one stick that would fit in 28 gaps. But this time we have to consider the existence of CDE. So we, we can't really make a number that would be the uh, same as either C or D or E. So just uh, uh, case study for uh, let's let's say so if in deciding CDE I drew a line here C equals 6 and let's say I drew a line here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, D equals 11 and 17 minus so uh, 12 CDE equals 12 right so C, C equals 6 D equals 11 and E equals 12 now I want to choose a gap uh, amongst the 28 that would make A and B somewhere else. But it's so obvious that you can't really put a line here or here because uh, soon after you put a line here, A would be as uh, equal as C. And if you put here, uh, B will be equal to E. So two options out, right? And also, this is the trick, uh, I mean, this is what you can't forget. So, at the same time, for example, if I drew one, two, three, four, five, six, a line here, so this part will be A, and this part will be B, and then B equals six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, B equals six, that will be uh, equal to the amount of C, right? So, also this option is out, and then you do the exact same thing, so you count, 11 from uh, right, uh, left side and right side and also you have to count uh, 6 from the right side like I did and also you have to count uh, 12 from the left side and you have to kill all those uh, uh, gaps that would uh, end up making 12, 6 or 11 or those uh, whatever. So let's see how many gaps we have to eliminate. So I did one here, so let's just erase these. So this is like line for 6, uh, and also we have to uh, think about 12 from the left side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
so this one is out and also 11 from both sides so 11 here uh, 1 2 3 4 5, 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this one is out and now you've found out that one, two, three, four, five, six options are out. And then this can be set for any type, I mean any set of CDE. You just, you know, the middle one had to be, has to be counted from both end. And uh, the left side C has to be counted from right side and an E has to be counted from this side. And of course, uh, this is the magic of number 29 and also uh, magic of all different numbers that you no, none of them would actually overlap. So, uh, uh, so in every set of CDE, and when, when you want to put another line for A and B, six options are out. So which means, how many ABs can we make? Uh, so 28 options uh, were uh, present uh, initially, but we get, got rid of six options, and then we have only one choice because there's one line. So there's only one get rid of, my god. Huh. So 20, uh, it's simple, 22 options of A and B for every CDE uh, combination. So it's just a simple math, 24 times 14 are the CDE sets and you uh, times 22, which is uh, AB set for every single CDE set. So I can't calculate that, I mean I can't, but hey Siri, what's 24 times 14 times 22? 24 times 14 times 22 is 7392. Okay, that's good. 7392. So this will be the answer. Uh, 7392. 7, and that's called technology. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, this was one of the easiest questions amongst the GMO uh, first round. So I thought, uh, I hope you uh, solved it. And also, uh, I would like to continue with this series if possible, I mean, I'll make it possible, but um, I will uh, look into some other JMO questions. If you have any suggestions, please do write uh, underneath uh, in the comments section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video and also uh, uh, I beg you to watch my father's video also. And uh, until I come here for the next time, uh, see you. And thank you for watching. Bye.